Surah al-Balad, also known as the city, or the land, in English, is the 90th chapter of the Quran. This surah addresses various themes, including the moral obligations of humans, the struggles faced by prophets, and the consequences of human actions. Here is a brief tafsir, interpretation, of some key themes and verses in Surah al-Balad. 1. The Oath by the City Mecca Surah al-Balad begins with an oath, where Allah swears by the city, Mecca, and the moral obligations it represents. This oath emphasizes the importance of the message that follows. 2. The Moral Obligations of Humans The surah emphasizes the moral obligations of human beings, including treating orphans with kindness and compassion, urging one another to feed the needy, recognizing the equality and dignity of all humans. 3. The Struggles Faced by Prophets Surah al-Balad acknowledges the struggles faced by prophets in conveying Allah's message. It highlights the opposition and rejection they often encountered from their own communities. 4. The Consequences of Human Actions The surah warns about the consequences of human actions. It mentions that individuals have the freedom to choose between righteousness and wickedness and that their choices will determine their fate. 5. The Role of Messengers and Revelation Surah al-Balad acknowledges the role of messengers and divine revelation in guiding humanity towards righteousness. It underscores the importance of adhering to the guidance provided by Allah through His messengers. 6. The Certainty of Accountability The Surah reinforces the concept of accountability and the knowledge of Allah. It serves as a reminder that every action and intention is known to Allah and that individuals will be held accountable for their choices. In summary, Surah al-Balad addresses the themes of moral obligations, the struggles faced by prophets, the consequences of human actions, the role of messengers and revelation, and the certainty of accountability. It emphasizes the importance of ethical conduct, compassion towards the needy, and the recognition of the guidance provided by Allah through His messengers.